When the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. Isaiah 60, 22. Hello, I'm Trudy, a Kenyan born and raised in Nairobi. Until just over one year ago when I got married to a Ghanaian and officially moved to Ghana. Moving to a new country is never easy. Am I officially moving to Ghana? Because I've always gone to Ghana as a girlfriend. Now I'm going as a wife. Oh my God. Guys, so my Ghanaian husband just picked me up from the airport. Viv, say hi. Oh my God. Happy. It's, it's, it's like we've changed from my Ghanaian boyfriend to my Ghanaian fiance, now my Ghanaian wife, please. I'm your, <laughs> I'm your husband. Please remove the Ghanaian. Hey. We just love the Ghana so hey, much. Of course, I just love Ghana so much. I can't believe this is my first time in Ghana as somebody's wife. <laughs> Some, it's true, babe. <laughs> Come here, someone. You just crack me up, babe. <laughs> it sounds so weird. Like, huh? I know it sounds so weird when I say know, I'm someone's but, but, wife. Ghanaians, your wife has arrived. Okay. <laughs> Why are you laughing so hard? I mean, I'm leaving everything I know and love behind, especially my family especially my dad who is a single parent and has raised me wholeheartedly just by himself dad. yes am i dating uh, i don't know tell me i don't know <laughs> it's your question <laughs> it's your question you tell me i've, I've answered you i don't know Sorry. In case you... i don't know but huh? uh -huh. uh, i would be Surprise if you don't. Hmm, okay. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. And now that you have asked me, you know, I can now come with uh, something like uh, sixty percent. I would say you are dating <laughs> because uh, mm. that's a question which you don't just ask someone. I guess that's why during my wedding, he got very emotional. The dad is crying yeah. because you're leaving. Okay. Okay. I, and I think one thing that your dad is thinking that I'm taking you to Ghana, <laughs> which is far away from him. Mm -hmm. But I want to promise you that mm -hmm. Gertrude will be here with you. No. you want to Since that memorable day, I promised my dad that although I was going away physically, I would always be a phone call away. And it has been my biggest priority to bring my dad over to Ghana just for him to see where I'm married off. Yes. Dad. Yeah. How are you? Mm -hmm. I have a surprise for you. Okay. Are you ready? What is the surprise? Are you ready? Well, okay. Yeah, open it. Can you see what it is? Huh? Can you see what it is? This could be the a ticket uh, flight to Ghana. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
flight ticket to Ghana. My intention has always been to bring my dad to Ghana for years now, but unfortunately things kept happening. But you know what? God's time is the best and I think the time is now. I have about 24 hours before my family arrives in Ghana. Oh my God, so much to do, so little time. Okay, so I finally came to do my hair. I know my hair has been really, really bad. But today is the day. We've been very busy, very up and down. I know you guys have been like, why is Trudy's hair so bad? yeah so I mean, and then in ghana for some reason most salons are fully booked like you call salon they're fully booked so i talked to someone who referred me to this place it's called starlocks in accra so here i am uh they just washed my hair and we're starting to fix it it's told me it's gonna take about two hours and i love it when you go to do your dreadlocks and the person doing your dreadlocks has dreadlocks see hi what's your name Abigail. So yeah, um, I don't like it when I go to do dreadlocks and the person doing your dreadlocks has braids. I've, I've had such experiences. It's like, do they even know what they're doing, you know? But when the person doing your hair has dreadlocks, it's already a plus. So yeah, I'm feeling good. So, but I have a busy day ahead. So when I finish here, I'm gonna be going to Okadeko, do some more shopping. My mother-in-law is coming in today. So we have to get the house ready. Um, yeah, so much, so much. So much to do, but yeah, that's a sub. I just wanted to show you guys the progress. So yeah, guys. So finally, I'm done. Yeah, I look good. It's, a, it's it's about time, man. I was looking not okay, but I'm glad that I'm now done with this. So yeah. Now I have some shopping to do in Okadeko, so come with me. But the problem is they don't allow us to film in Okadeko. Anytime we enter there filming, they're like, excuse me. We don't allow cameras i'm like oh. so i don't know if i'm gonna be able to show you much but we'll see hey guys so so much going on i went to the salon did my hair then i went i did the shopping that i told you guys about unfortunately i wasn't allowed to film while inside now i've come to the bank hospital uh this is where my dad will hopefully be coming to do his dialysis i had come to them over last year uh, six months ago and i told them about my dad's condition they said he can be coming for dialysis while in ghana so i came to just tell them now my dad is coming in a day so i hope they are ready for me yeah that's what's up so yeah do you mind me on camera um, so one. this is my driver <laughs> driver for the day this is freeman <laughs> he's been moving us around whenever he comes around we don't want to i don't want to drive even maya because he knows how to drive so well he's the best driver i know in ghana hey. so yeah um he has he brought me from okadeko to here he's, he's been very busy but thank you for your time okay. he's a youtuber what's the name of your channel lois fitness l-o-y-c-e fitness what kind of videos do you do i do home um workout like body weight workout mm -hmm. i people who don't have enough fun to get into the gym can train along with me with home equipment like water bottles and stuff like that mm -hmm. and i also do military workouts so like i'm just trying to push the military mindset into the youth we stay fit and healthy shortly that's just about oh, that nice let's go <laughs> <laughs> so you'll be seeing more videos with him because you're going to be exercising to together okay. so watch out for that sure. that's, what's up. that's what's up are you single yes I am. <laughs> you're single yeah are you yeah. searching no yeah i just want to really keep my mind set the thing is the thing is if i get somebody that can understand me, me and i understand the person mm -hmm. we are good to go does a lady have to be Ghanaian? no not at all girls you heard so i am gonna uh leave Is his that details kinda, uh -uh. no if you're single <laughs> i mean let's link you up i have some fine girls who watch my channel really? so guys i'm gonna leave his details link up with him don't be shy okay that's a sub so let's go in <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so much is happening i forgot to make the video so we went to the first place they told us for dialysis it's only on is it on tuesdays 
Tuesdays and like Thursday. No, apart no, from every day, apart, apart from, from Thursdays and Tuesdays, every other day. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's what they said. So then Monday, they sent us to this Wednesday, other branch. Friday, but Tuesdays and Thursdays, apart. Yeah, so we came to this other branch. We've inquired. I think everything's gonna go well. They've given me the number of the person to call, so we hope all will go well. So yeah, time to eat, man. We're hungry. You know, even <laughs> me, I'm not eating the whole day. Oh really? Yeah. I wanted to get water, I forgot, I was just like firing on the way. So I got down here. So you say where we should go and buy food. Me, I know, I, I love honey circle. Yeah, we just got it from there. But you know, it's better we go to that side because traffic is starting to build now. Mm. Thank you so much for clicking. I am back in Ghana. Yeah. And I'm super excited because, uh, oh, gotta close the car. Lock the car. <laughs> um, my family from Kenya is actually coming to Ghana for the very first time. Oh my God. Yes, after traveling. Sorry? No. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, I'm very, very excited about that. Yeah, and I'm not alone. I'm with my sister-in-law. Hi, guys! Best sister-in-law in the whole Aww. world. One day we should do a sit-down and I just know, talk. Right? Yeah. We'll do so that. We'll do that. We should do that. I mean, so yeah, this is so cool. I'm very excited. Hi. After traveling, you know, there's nothing like home. And these days, Ghana is my home. So I feel like, ah, oh, finally home. You get what I'm trying to say? Anyway, so we have come to Okadeko to do some shopping. Oh no, I charged this GoPro. It's they gone off. I thought it charged. When? Last, the whole day yesterday, I put it to charge. I guess I didn't confirm it was charging. No, 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 no. I used it when I was vlogging when I was coming from the US. Ah, okay. So then I just put it in the charger. I didn't take my time. I'm gonna have to use my phone. So we are finally inside. Uh, Okadeko and I have a team of people helping me out. There's her, there's him. Say hi to the camera, Charlie. <laughs> okay, so I hope they let me feel. And hi. <laughs> Leather. Oh, this is cute. It's nice. It's really nice, but I uh, wish it had a dresser. Look at this other bed. How cute is this? I feel like this is black. It's so cute. But the price is like $2,500. That's 33,500 Ghana CDs. I think it's so cute. What do you guys think? And it comes with a dresser and the two side stands. And then there's this one that I think I might take. So cute, you guys. But the price is uh, 13500 Not bad. Not bad at all. Can you yes, say they are foreign? Okay. Sit down and then just lie back and see. Uh, and see what I'm talking about. Hey. Just, just lie back and see what I'm talking about. How do you feel? I feel okay. Uh -huh. You see? It's, so, you it's normal. Yes. Um, you see, so guys, I'm being told this mattress is 20000 It's more expensive than the bed. $20,000 in dollars. You know how, much, how many dollars that is? About almost $2,000. For a mattress, we'll buy the beds, we'll buy the mattress somewhere else. That's what I think. Questions, what do you think? Really? At least for but, now, but, yeah. But, but you need to sleep well, and then you know, you need to feel comfortable. We understand, but just time around that we are, we are, we are budget, okay? Our money is budget, and it's very hard. You can't buy a mattress whereby when you sleep at the end of the day, the next day you feel body pain. Oh, oh we'll, very we'll, this is a very good we'll salesman. Get, this guy we'll is just get, a good we'll salesman. Get a <laughs> Oh, you get yeah, exactly. But you know, you need to feel comfortable when sleep so that you can dream well. Oh, oh, oh. So you can dream well. It's the same dream. So, do you know, let me tell you something. When you are standing, uh -huh. when I tell you to stand here and see, uh -huh. you can't, you'll be dreaming like, you know, you'll be seeing witchcraft and power. Uh -huh. like but when you sleep on mattresses like this, you feel like you're in heaven. Uh -huh. Electric, electric, mattresses. electric mattresses oh wow so i'm trying to get the best that money can buy for my dad but at the same time i am working with a budget so i'm trying to balance it out 
Oh, we can also ask about the mattresses. So we just came from Okadeko and now we are at Melcom's. Still just shopping. I'm already. Um, yeah, and also TV and fridge. TVs. We need like, is it four or, or three TVs? They have a wide range of things here. Guys, I have never shopped this much in my life. Oh my god. From beds to mattresses to utensils to curtains to pillows to TVs and fridges. Wow, this has been an intense day of shopping. Guys, this is crazy. We are stuck here because we've exceeded the card limits. And I've been told you can't use over four thousand dollars a day. I had to call my banker because at first I was buying everything was okay. Then my card started declining, and I'm like, I still have cash what's going on. Then I called my banker and she said you can't use more than four thousand dollars a day, and we've already bought everything, so the card has declined. We're trying to figure out a way forward. I'm trying to call my best friend here in Ghana. <laughs> She's called Maggie. She's a rich woman. <laughs> she had to tell her to help us to, to pay that and then I'm gonna send the cash after midnight to her. It's crazy complicated but that's the only option we have right now. So yeah, I did know that you can't actually swipe more than four thousand dollars a day. But I've, my bank has told me they can increase the limit but it's past working hours in Kenya. Right now it's like 9 p.m. in Kenya, so it has to be during working hours. So, unfortunately, there's nothing I can do. So, cross your fingers for us. I'm gonna keep you guys posted. Yeah, let's see what's up. Where did they go? Oh. So, many of you guys are probably wondering why you can't see Maya. The reason is because he's actually in Kenya. He went to pick my dad up and bring him back to Ghana. That is so sweet. Please, if you think Maya is such a sweet husband, give the video a thumbs up and um, make sure you subscribe. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my god. So we missed the offers here in Melcom's. But at least at Okadeko we got the, the yeah, offers. Yeah. What a 15 or 16. Hi guys, finally we are down. Uh, thank God Maggie came through for us. She actually sent us the cash. Uh, about a thousand, I think it was, I think it was a thousand five hundred dollars, something around a thousand, over a thousand dollars, and we were able to top up and make the payment, the pending payment. But I'm gonna send it to her tomorrow. Lesson learned: when I'm, I, you can't buy anything more than four thousand dollars with your card in a day. So now I know. So now we're heading to the car. The guys with the TVs are coming behind us, and the mattresses. We got so many things. The beds in um, Okadeko actually, you know, actually they are on offer. So we bought bears for about seven hundred dollars but then when you get the offer it goes for like five hundred dollars and this is a bed the two side tables and a dresser as in that wasn't a bad price at melcoms i've just been told we've missed an offer that was here a week ago but uh it happens at least we've gotten the offers in okadeko we are not done shopping we're gonna be out tomorrow and the day after and i can't wait to surprise um maya and my dad and my mother-in-law when they come over so we just need to pack them in the car and then we head off. It's actually late at night. Okay, what's the time? Around 8 p.m. We started this around 12 midday. So I think next time we're gonna start morning hours. But yeah, that's us up. Pack these things and then go home. I can't wait to show you guys how the rooms are gonna look like after we're done. But now we're going to my house, which is like 30 minutes from here. And um, we can't be able to do much because it's late at night. So we'll probably just put the things in the house and go back tomorrow. I'm talking too much. Are you guys confused? I hope not. So I'm gonna go and sleep in our Airbnb apartment for tonight. Ah, I think I'm confusing you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So yeah, I've been having an amazing team. I really wouldn't have been able to do it without these three guys. I'm so grateful. So if you guys watch the video, my sister-in-law and you other guys, Maggie's team, I love you guys and thank you so much. That's what's up. The next day, Good morning. This is the next day. I've got less than 24 hours before my family arrives in Ghana. So we're just setting up the house, making sure everything is all set. And then, uh, oh my God, they're going to be here. <laughs> um, yeah. Ok 
okay guys this is our kitchen right now we need to clear up we need to pack all these things in up here in our closet space the fridge is coming in it's gonna come in right here mm, yeah so this is gonna be a lot of work but thank god i'm not doing it alone 3 28 a.m guys uh, uh, good morning guys oh my god oh my god i need to sit down for this i need to sit down for this because i'm feeling so emotional um oh my god guys this is the day the day is finally here um my dad is coming today it's around 3 30 a.m in the morning i woke up at three and i got ready I am going to pick up my family from the airport. They're coming to Ghana. It's just something I've wanted for a long time, you know, and things kept happening. You know, you guys, if you've been watching me, you know, I bought the ticket for my dad to come to Ghana last year. Last year, was it in October? You know, and things kept happening, so they were not able to come. But thank God, because this is actually the right time for them to come, and they're here. I'm gonna pick them at the airport. I'm so nervous and excited, cause since I met Maya, since I started dating him, live alone, get get getting married, um, my family has never been to Ghana. His family has been to Kenya. The brothers and the mom, they've been to Kenya, but my family, no one has been to Ghana, and it's very important for them, especially my dad to know where I'm married, you know. Um, so it's, it means a lot that my dad is actually coming to Ghana, you know. It means everything, you know. May God forbid in case of anything, I can say, oh, my dad came, he saw, where, he saw where I live, you know. He blessed where I live, like, you, you don't understand. So it's gonna be here for a while so yeah you guys who have been telling me truly we miss your videos with your dad we miss your videos with your... well i hope you're ready for more episodes with my dad now that he's gonna be in ghana and also leave comments let us know um what you any ideas you know what you'd want us to do and this is also very special because if you know me you know that i have a single parent my mom passed away when i was 16 so my dad is all i've got and i love him so much and sometimes i just wish my mom was here right now because when my mom was alive uh she used to have money issues you know she was working so hard but the money was just not coming sometimes i'm like i wish she was alive right now so i would cheat her now i'm like if my mom was alive i would also just fly her to ghana you know anywhere she wants to go and it will be amazing you know and that's why i'm like i know my mom is no more okay one minute oh okay so i know my mom is no more but my dad is here so i'll make the most of it Oh, it's so emotional guys so emotional oh my god you know what let me just head to the airport <laughs> i'm gonna start crying here so let me just head to the airport and pick them up they're arriving at 4 it's 3 30 i'm literally 10 minutes away from the airport so yeah let's go oh my god <laughs> My dad is always asking me how is Ghana, how is this in Ghana. Then my dad was so good in geography, so he knows so much about Ghana and other countries. So he's always even educating me, you know. So I'm just happy and this is the only country my dad has gone to out of Kenya. My first my dad's first time flying out of Kenya is coming to Ghana, so oh God, pray for us. Let's hope everything goes well. So I gotta head to the airport. Oh, it's now 3.44. But they're arriving at 5, so we're good. And I'm only 10 minutes away, so let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, my God. Um, so, yep. Here we are. Actually, guys, I wanted to wash the car yesterday, but 
man i was so up and down i was so busy i couldn't i couldn't i literally just settled down at 10 p.m it's a few minutes to 4 a.m and there's literally no one on the roads this is a uh, difference guys this is crazy i arrived right on time um as i was coming in maya calls me he's like where are you we're waiting for the bus i'm like damn oh thank god i wasn't even a minute late so yep let's go in someone is supposed to be here to help me surprise my dad with something but oh i talked to him when i was leaving the house he said that he was getting an uber and now they're telling me that they have arrived i'm like oh god i hope he's not late i hope he's not late because this is so important i want to surprise my dad as he comes out of the airport can you guys guess what it is or who it is ah, now i'm okay i just hope he's gonna be here on time oh there's really less people I really thought it's gonna be dark at the airport. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, man, it's gonna be so dark. How will I even film? But see, there's so much light. People are, people are not as many as they usually are during the day. But at least you can get a seat. During the day, usually you can't even get a seat. It's usually that part. Oh, okay. yeah. Hello. This word American? Yeah, uh, how do you know? How do you know the mic's coming? I know. <laughs> he's like, he's on the way coming. Oh, thank you. Yeah, he's coming with my dad, yeah. Uh, on Ethiopia? Uh, yes. You also picking someone? Yeah, yeah. Who's that? Uh, my in-laws. Oh, nice. We are all picking our in-laws. Yes, yeah. Oh. I always tell you guys that Ghana is so hot. I used to say that a lot until people started complaining. He's Ghanaian and he's saying the same thing. Ghana is hot. I can't wait to see my father's and brother's reactions. He said what I usually say. The moment you step out of the of the plane, the air that hits you is so hot. And that's exactly what he's saying. Though he says that he's Ghanaian but he lives in Canada. I'm like, yep. Ghana is so hot. Very, very hot. And it's really so crazy when Ghanaians say, oh, Ghana is hot. I'm like, Pfft. so you can imagine for a foreigner like me, because you'd think that Ghanaians are used to their weather, you know. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how I'm going to act when I see my dad and my brother. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tell me they're waiting for the bus. Oh, my God. This is amazing. This is so cool. I'm so excited. I don't know what to say. Oh, guys, they're here, they're here, they're here, they're here. Now they're coming out. There they are. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, hi guys. Welcome to Ghana. is behind you. It means welcome. Oh. Aquaba Ghana. Yes. That's your first word. I, in Ghana. Yeah, in fact, I told him but he, he was not aware. Yeah. <laughs> he was not allowed when I was announcing that word. Ah, okay. So how have you been? I've been okay. Okay. Hey, Gibi. Hi. Hi. Welcome to Ghana. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, welcome to Ghana, baby. Come, come, come. You didn't even welcome me. Welcome to I'm saying welcome to Ghana. Welcome to Ghana. Thank you. What did you say? Immediately we walked out of that place. Uh -huh. eh? We were met with intense heat. I told you, Ghana is hot. Intense heat. Exactly. I've never seen in this world. Exactly. It's so hot in Ghana. It's I, how it is. I must remove my coat. I know, right? See, my dad is feeling that hot. What is Poncho doing here, man? You don't sleep? <laughs> but 
is the longest flight you've ever been on? Yes. Two hours from Kenya to Ethiopia, then you waited there for four hours. Yes. And then five, was it five or six hours from Ethiopia to Uganda? Around five hours. Wow. But thank God you're finally here. Yes. It's great to be in the country which was the first to achieve its independence. Oh, in yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Oh, Ghana. Through Kwame Nkrumah. Yeah, thank God for Kwame Nkrumah, man. Yes. You know, Maya is from Kwame Nkrumah side. If All we right. get time, we'll go. The western part of Ghana. Yeah. Oh, you knew, you knew that? Yeah. Oh, wow. So we're here. Mm -hmm. We are packing our bags in the car. Oh, what is the Kotoka? Kotoka is the name of the airport. All right. Then, who is Kotoka? Oh, one of the former presidents of Ghana. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard that the man who is now in power, his father. Oh, his Babes, father. Babes, Kotoka was the pres your president in power's father. No, the guy who almost assassinated Kwame. Almost. <laughs> wow, what a way to put it. <laughs> Who is that? Who is this? Like myself. Yeah. <laughs> this is you. Alright. This is one of you. Okay, I and, thought. Uh, that is you and I. Alright. Yeah. This one doesn't look like my wife, bro. Uh, it's the picture. It's the picture. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly. No, exactly. Like my dad. This one is so important. Mm. Remember Alan's mm. wedding? The photo. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to hang this in our house. Mm -hmm. mm. Hey. Mark is there. Wow. Ah. Uh, looking like a warrior. Yeah. Looking like Marcus Gabby. <laughs> Looking like a warrior. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's so cool, man. That's so 